hi welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is z so hello welcome to my channel this is going to be a collective read for aquarius so it's just for i'm asking for insight for february the 12th and 13th today is currently the 11th so yeah let's just see, see what shows up if you're interested in a um more accurate reading like a general reading i'm currently having a sale on my energy reading so they're currently 45 dollars you can use the link in the description box below for my information on how to do so. It'll also be pinned as a comment as well. And my payment links are in the description box below as well. So make sure you um, read all of the info in the description box. So I'm going to go in with my Daily Vibes Oracle deck. It's just an Oracle deck that I created if you are new here. But yeah, we're going to see what's going on. What does Aquarius need to know for February the 12th and 13th? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so we got half faith that's showing up. So it's definitely giving star card vibes, which is y'all energy. So it's saying half faith. For some of y'all, you could definitely have some haters around y'all with this hater rate showing up, but it's saying half faith in whatever it is that you're doing. So we're going to see what else shows up. Because you know, sometimes people could be hating. They make you feel like you're not doing, you know, what you supposed to be doing, but really you're doing everything that they could never do okay so let's see um what else does aquarius needs to know for february the 12th and 13th oh so we got a new cycle that's showing us so welcome in the new aquarius you guys have a new beginning that's happening a new cycle with this showing up but it's like maybe you don't really see this yet so, so um for for some of the reads y'all since it's general but most of the time when i do readings here on youtube like for youtube y'all it'd be like stuff that's currently going on but i mean it just depends on like what type of timeline you're on honestly but when i do reads it's like currently what's going on or like what's to come basically what else does aquarius need to know for february the 12th and 13th even though I'm asking for February the 12th and 13th, this could happen at any time as well. Give me one more for Aquarius for February the 12th and 13th. Give me one more. Oh, so we got big yes. I've seen this card first, but New Beginning did want it to show up. For some of you guys, you could definitely have some like negative or like low vibrational energy surrounding you. And it's wanting you to um, cleanse it's like you could be physically needing to like cleanse your space like you're at home but it's like getting rid of the old energy welcoming in new energy but you know we did see haterade too so it's like whatever that energy is it's like low vibrational and it could be with anybody it could be like at work y'all or at the you know at home in your house so i'm gonna see what shows uh, it was like a I was gonna pull one more card but two came out but big yes did show up so like spirit saying giving you like a big yes towards like this new cycle this new beginning spirit's like yeah it's happening okay so try to embrace the new energy let's see why is faith here for Aquarius So we have the four of wands that's showing up yeah is this a four i'm using a new tarot deck y'all so yeah but it's the four of wands that's showing up here for some of you guys you definitely have some um for some reason it's like i can't remember what the four of wands looks like <laughs> this is so sad let me pull one more card y'all Tell me more about this half faith card. Tell me more about half faith. So this could definitely be in regards to like finances and money, Aquarius. Yeah, for some of y'all, you definitely have something new that's showing up. I feel like you guys got some type of call or you're going to be receiving some type of call in regards to like money and finances. It's definitely coming in here, especially with the um the four of wands energy. But yeah, this is the um the six of in this tarot deck, y'all. It's like bitcoins, but it's talking about the pentacles. But yeah, this is the six of pentacles. So you're gonna be receiving a call, Aquarius. It's definitely in regards to 
finances also so it could be like career business but yeah judgment did show up and hopefully this is not offending nobody y'all but <laughs> If you can figure out what it is, but yeah, judgment, but it's like some type of call that you're going to be receiving. So yeah, it looks like you're going to be heading into a new direction. So don't, don't sweat it, Aquarius. If you guys are lacking faith in this situation, it's going to work out. Tell me about this new cycle for Aquarius. Tell me about new cycle for Aquarius. Uh oh. Tell me about new cycle for Aquarius. What's going on with this new cycle for Aquarius? Tell me about new cycle for Aquarius. Thank you. So, oh, we got the high priestess that's showing up. For some of you guys, you're, you're needing to go within here. Um, definitely tap into your intuition in regards to like this new cycle, welcoming in something new. That's what it looks like here for somebody. But there's like definitely, it's like unnecessary worry and fear surrounding um, this new cycle, like this new beginning, this new energy. Tell me about big yes. I don't know why I'm hearing something about the moon cycle too. Um, I believe we just had like a new moon. I can't remember y'all because sometimes I can't keep up with the, the moon cycles. Okay, but whichever one is coming up. Now this could be happening around a time. But that's what I'm seeing here. It's like something about the moon cycle from what's showing up it's like bringing in and i feel like it's the um it could be definitely the next new moon that we have this could be coming in for someone it looks like you're going to be receiving um a call it's definitely in regards to like your money and your finances this could be definitely something that you've been waiting on too so let's see something about big yes for aquarius Oh, we got the Three of Swords showing up here. Yeah, for some of y'all, you experience some type of disappointment with this Three of Swords. But, you know, when we see a hater, right, y'all? I feel like this is some type of betrayal for someone, y'all. But it's like you're needing to clear out that energy before this new, like, this new beginning shows up here. It's like closing out this old cycle because you got something new that's going to be popping up um for somebody you could be dealing with the well this is a reader for aquarius but i feel like this is something new that's going to be popping up for you with this page of cups aquarius it could be in regards to love y'all but i'm seeing like the six of pentacles here it looks like it's definitely um talking about your abundance tell me about new beginning Yeah, look, we got the um, four or five, six, the nine of pentacles. So, yeah, whatever this is for some people now, I see where this could definitely be, um, this could definitely be new love for someone, y'all. But you're about to receive some type of information or clarity. Someone could be dealing with a, a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But you have someone that's watching you or you could be watching someone with this page of swords. What's this page, these swords? But y'all know what it mean but yeah that's what it looks like i'm seeing something improve with your finances in your career aquarius with this new beginning this could definitely indicate like a new job situation for someone too but it's like it's letting you know that things are going to get better especially if you're in this like three of swords type of energy um just give it some time like, things are definitely going to improve. But it just looks like you guys experience some type of disappointment or, like, betrayal. Tell me about this Three of Swords for Aquarius. What's the Three of Swords for Aquarius? What's the Three of Swords for Aquarius? Yeah, so the page of wands. Yeah, expect some type of good news, y'all, that shows up 
with this page of this page of wands there's some type of communication that's going to be showing up for you guys and it looks like a new start as well it's like after you heal from some type of disappointment or like betrayal or something like something new starts tell me more oh we got a king of wands here so i'm seeing a past energy show up we got the six of cups that showing up at the bottom of the day now this king of wands could be a person of the past could be a fire sign aries leo or a sag but that's what's showing up they just wanted to pop out i'm gonna just leave it here this could be someone that you cut off as well so we got night the night the bitcoins but it's like the night of coins there's somebody coming in with some type of offer y'all just use your intuition in regards to um what's coming towards you right now because it looks like you're headed towards something new aquarius but then you got some past energy that's like trying to follow along or like you know that's still around you i see an offer showing up with this night this night of coins but use your intuition here because we got the moon it's in regards to like communication for someone I feel like spirit is saying, yes, start new. Don't go back to anything of the past. But you need to have faith that these new beginnings are something that's like positive for you. Um, and not some type of like past energy from what's showing up. Because you know we see my smudge card, y'all. They let you know that the uh, that past energy is being put out. So it's like getting ready for getting ready for some new energy. Tell me about this knight of, um, no, not knight of coins. This knight of pentacles. So it's a king of cups. Yeah, so a past energy keeps showing up for somebody. No, it's the four, um, this is the four of cups. But yeah, it looks like a water sign. So it could be a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It's showing up as like a Damascus energy here with this king of cups. But, um... I'm seeing where there's some type of rejection, some form of rejection from like a past energy, y'all. It's like you don't want someone's cup because you have your own. Like you got this new cup that spirit gave you and spirit saying, yeah, this is good. And it looks like whatever this is, you heal from it. So it's like you're ready for something new. That's what it looks like. For some of you guys, you could have definitely been putting in your new moon intentions as well. I see that manifesting for somebody. Tell me about new beginning for Aquarius. Yeah, lovers. So this looks like a new um, a new partnership, a new relationship for some of y'all. Because it looks like somebody's single with this amount of coins. But it's like you got, I feel like somebody has like about two, three offers showing up for them. But it's like you're headed towards the new cycle, um, Aquarius. It's like you're riding your broomstick, whether you're male or female. It's just showing where you're going somewhere new. And some of y'all could read cards too. It's like maybe you've been already tapped into this energy or you already know what to do. Yeah, and tell me why she has the full card in her hand too. So yeah, um, it's like the full card that looks that's in this deck, but she has it in her hand. So yeah, it's like you're wanting something new. Give me one more for this new beginning for Aquarius. Yeah, great fortune. You leaving some people in despair, Aquarius. I feel like something's about to change in regards to your um, finance and finances and career but also to like your love life as well but we got great fortune that's showing up for y'all i'm gonna pull one from this oracle deck here some people could feel left out in the cold because i see where it's like three energies that's trying to give somebody an offer but it's like you showing up like this it's like you're not even worried worried about them Like, you've been trying to manifest the new stuff. You're not worrying about the old stuff. So, give me one here for Aquarius. Yeah, follow what makes you happy. See, so you know your worth. Y'all, this is definitely on point. I'm not even an Aquarius, but I do have Aquarius in my chart. 
Um, I believe it's like my North Node. I can't remember. But yeah, follow what makes you happy. So if that means riding your broomstick for a little bit, you know, being single, single until someone new shows up, then do that. What this follow what makes you happy. But don't forget your worth. We got worthy worthiness and receptivity. So it's like you're not just out here taking any offers. Like you know your worth. Um, with um, what's his name? Fat Joe. He was like, yesterday's price is not today's price, y'all. <laughs> Listen. Um, yeah, you know your worth, Aquarius. Cause I see someone trying to offer, like they could be trying to offer money. Um, somebody's trying to offer love, but it's like you don't need neither one of them. So it's like maybe you don't have whatever they're trying to offer in your life, but you know that you can get it on your own. Like you can manifest this because you've already released this energy. So it's like you're ready for something new. So yeah, that's what's showing up for y'all. I'm going to end the read here. I hope that it was helpful and insightful for you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below, give the video a like, a thumbs up, and you can subscribe as well.